the aliens that were here. And, you, you know, who knows? He, he said, you know, whenever a more advanced society comes in contact with a less advanced society, it doesn't always work. One of the most intriguing questions about Mars is whether life ever existed on the planet. This question has been the subject of much debate. Scientists have long hypothesized that if any form of life existed on Mars, it would be small, hard to find, and unable to live outside of certain conditions. Hey there guys and welcome back to our channel Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will find out what will happen when we find aliens on Mars. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars-related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. The discovery of the new organisms found in rocks and soil samples collected by the Curiosity rover suggests that scientists may have been wrong about how life on Mars would be different from life here on Earth. The organisms which were found in several other locations around the Curiosity rover were all small enough to be able to fit on a pinhead. They grew in a way that suggests that they could survive outside of their environment, and they also displayed traits that are similar to life here on Earth. The search for extraterrestrial life has been an essential aspect of human scientific discovery since the beginning of the space age. There is no doubt that we have discovered life on Mars, but it is unclear whether or not it is alien in origin. Experts have many different opinions on this question, including those who think that we are not alone in the universe and that life on Mars may have existed in the past, and those who believe that life on Mars is impossible. Scientists are still debating what to do with the discovery of aliens on Mars. The question of what to do with the discovery of aliens on Mars is a controversial one. Some scientists believe life on Mars could have originated much like on Earth, while others think it is impossible. There are currently two active robotic missions on Mars, the Mars Exploration Rover and the Mars 2020 Rover. The Mars Exploration Rover is presently operating on the surface of Mars at the windy, dry, coldest place on the planet. The Mars 2020 Rover will be the first to collect samples of Martian soil, which will then be brought back to Earth for analysis. It has discovered evidence of a lake bed, rocks rich in iron and clay, clay-rich layers of rock are associated with the river delta, indicating that flowing water once existed on Mars. Scientists searching for alien life are excited to announce they've recently discovered a new class of potentially habitable microscopic organisms on Mars. The discovery announced at the annual American Astronomical Society meeting is the latest in a series of findings that are transforming scientists' understanding of Mars and life on planet Mars. The discovery of bacteria-like organisms on Mars has raised hopes that the planet could support life in the future and has also raised the possibility that life on Earth could have originated on the Red Planet. The discovery is also changing scientists' understanding of the potential for life on other planets. This has also raised the possibility that some life on Earth could have originated on Mars. The discovery has shifted our understanding of the potential for life on other planets. Humans have long been fascinated by the idea of life on other planets. One reason is that it's a natural experiment searching for extraterrestrial life. Another is that discovering aliens on Mars would be a major scientific breakthrough and would be a major boon to the field of astrobiology. The search for aliens on Mars has led us to some of our greatest scientific discoveries. What if we find a race of aliens on Mars who are intelligent and curious but are not from Earth? What if they are from another solar system, but they are brilliant and curious about us? What if they are from another dimension? All are possibilities. When it comes to trying to find signs of alien life, Mars is unlike any other place in the solar system. It's not simply a barren, inhospitable desert. It's a place that has the potential to hold life, but also one that has the ability to kill it. The long-term effects of discovering alien life on Earth will be felt for years to come and will include both positive and negative effects. On the positive side, the discovery of extraterrestrial life could inspire more curiosity about the universe and encourage the exploration of new ideas. On the negative side, the discovery of extraterrestrial life could cause fear, uncertainty, and panic, which could in turn have a negative impact on education and society. But what will be our first impression of the planet and its inhabitants when we land on Mars? Will we find a few simple furry creatures or something much more advanced? Maybe we'll find a thriving ecosystem of strange plants and animals, or perhaps none. 
The first humans to explore the Red Planet will open up new possibilities for our understanding of alien life and the universe. When we find aliens on Mars, we will probably think they look like us. They might have big eyes or a small nose. They might have long ears or a broad forehead. They might speak a weird language. At the first Communication with Extraterrestrial Intelligence Conference organized by Carl Sagan in 1971, Sagan reported to the public that it is not unlikely there are civilizations in advance of our own elsewhere in the galaxy, and that we have means currently at our disposal to detect them. The radio searches Sagan championed for finding these advanced civilizations have already scanned nearly 1,000 stars. However, they have found no significant traces of intelligent life. The discovery of life on Mars or on another planet in another solar system or even somewhere else entirely would be a game changer for the human race. The discovery would also change our view of ourselves. It would not only show us that we are not alone, but it would also shake our belief in the superiority of our species to other life forms. If aliens visit Earth, they could destroy our species. They might invade our countries, enslave our people, and turn our world into a place we'd rather not visit. They could take our resources, our land, and even our freedom. It would be the end of our civilization as we know it. They will be unpredictable. They will try to stay hidden rather than come out in open confrontation. This is because they lack knowledge about how humans react to them. They may be more intelligent, they may be more tactful, they may be more trusting, they may be more emotionally involved. If no one knows what extraterrestrial life will look like, the form they are in, or their motives in contacting humans, who knows how they will act. It would be like humans meeting trilobites because aliens could be billions of years more advanced than us, Shostak, the American astronomer and author, said in an interview. They could be aggressive because aggression is favored in the Darwinian system, but they could be peaceful, no one knows. It is possible that extraterrestrials may have evolved just like humans to be capable of both violent aggression and peaceful compromise. But if evolution is based on survival of the fittest, we have good reason to believe that aggressive instincts will be present in extra as well," wrote astrobiologist Pushkar Ganesh Vaida. To what extent alien life can curb their aggression instincts or else they will possibly self-destruct is anybody's guess. The idea of aliens is not new. The term aliens is the product of the early 20th century when scientists believed there might be life on other planets. Possibly planets that are similar to Earth, scientists also think that aliens may be able to adapt to different environments and may be capable of overcoming problems that humans have with environment on Earth. So, with that our video has come to an end. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mars Discovery and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.